All right, welcome back. So, um, I think I'm going to skip Ghost for the time being, mainly because I'm not really sure how you would play this uh, this character. Can't be damaged or deal damage, but disappears after reaching the current time limit. Ignores walls. Yeah, and so I'm not really sure how we play him or play it. So instead, we're going to go back to Space Dude. Uh, confirm and I think we're going to be doing space 54 again again there's only 20 minutes yeah I think that's probably fine so let's go ahead and get started uh we'll we'll go with beginning let's take a look here go and grab our Phaser upgrade. Um, I don't really like any of these. So, prismatic missile. So, as far as evolving this thing, it doesn't really tell us. Oh, so kind of figure out what we need for that. Um, we need Empty Town, so that shouldn't be too bad. Um, I guess let's go Santa Water. What do we need for the Prismatic Missile? It's the, the crown, okay. like to hold off on picking that up for right now yes let's grab that because I would like to get it I don't remember what we need for that one oh, we do need hollow heart in order to evolve the uh, bats All right. instead of going up this way let's try and stay in an area where we can pick up the HP a little easier. We also need to kind of keep in mind we want to avoid picking up chests for right now so that we can try and evolve things. Come on, where's all the enemies? Ducks. There we go. Um, yes, let's go Attractor, because that will help us get XP easier, since we can pick it up. Eventually the stage will, like, disappear a little, so we don't have to worry about it forever. Come on, kill him, kill him. Get him, get him. So the phaser is the thing that's making the little plucking sounds. I like I like all the uh, test objects, test 3D objects here. That's cute. Um, all right, still trying to pick stuff up. Yeah, that big guy I think will have a chest in him. say is it just stuck there forever just try and avoid picking that up if we can not want to pick that up but I guess uh, it's gonna have to be fine hold on where's where's all the enemies
Yep, let's make sure to kind of pick up a track orb whenever possible. Um, yep, keep going, phaser. Couple of unlocks that we still need to get now that we uh, have these available to us. Really wish. I don't understand why these items, the only things that get pushed in are the chests. Maybe it's just like the the way that the collision works with uh, with stuff, with the different things. You gotta love those giant hordes of enemies, because they always give so much more XP. Could start making our way down to grab the... Um, grab the uh, tomes, because... With the shorter time limit, I'm less. I get. I feel less inclined to hold off on getting these things because it's not going to make much of a difference. We're not going to have enough time to really get and fill out everything else. Um. Every roll. Guess I'll take Santa Water. We do need Hollow Heart. Hopefully we can get it this time. Hopefully. Okay, I think, uh, the first one over right here. Yep, get that. Don't usually go uh, Empty Tome. Not that it's a bad, like, passive item. I just think there's less incentive to do so, usually. And generally, I choose passive items based off of what I t intend to take as my weapons. And unfortunately, um, Empty Tome's uh, weapon is just not as helpful, I find, or as good. I'm going to try re-rolling, see if we can get the one that brings everything to us. This will just make it so much easier. <laughs> um, I did not want to pick that up. Whoops. And of course it gives us something that we already have. That's actually incredibly annoying. I hate it when it gives you things that you don't want. Where does this go? I 
guess it's just a system of these sort of planet, planet ring type things. Santa water. The game, however, is not really being generous with uh, some of the items. Or some of the passive items that I want. Like the... The XP crown would be nice. Getting a uh, hollow heart would be really helpful. Since that's kind of our one of our limiting factors right now. Um Okay, I'm going to take whip because that might increase our chances of getting the passive item that we want. Accidentally walking into the into the enemies. Um, magnetic missile is fine. I think we keep moving, and it causes the chest to just keep going around in a circle. sure that we get the pack and the phaser evolved first if we can help it. There's the Ventusacro. So if we get to that point, we can at least evolve the whips. Um, I think duplicator is fine. Oh, okay. I guess we picked it up. Uh, yeah, let's go duplicator. There's the crown. Yep. Demon finger. Okay. Sure. I think it's over now. Yeah, I definitely feel like we're in a better spot than what we were in the previous run. I think the phaser is actually a pretty decent little weapon. At least it feels pretty decent.
go ahead and not run into the giant blocks. There's Hollow Heart. Excellent. Thankfully, they drop floor meat like crazy, so... Okay, the stage is now changing. Um... Probably do that one. Yeah, I I guess... Eh, well. Uh, let's take a wake. Might as well. You need to make sure that Hollow Park gets leveled up all the way. There's the last XP crown. Now let's definitely make sure Hollow Heart gets leveled up. Okay, oh, we're good at this point. We can as soon as the next uh Arcana event happens. Uh, we can go ahead and try and evolve some stuff. Okay. Uh, let's go. Yep. Excellent. Oh, wow. We actually got two evolutions. Photon Storm and Mazo Familiar. Excellent. Okay. There we can go ahead and try and evolve. Wow. Got really lucky. Okay, sure. Actually go ahead and try and evolve this last one. Nope. Okay. Can't get that lucky. Let's go ahead and try and get that last gold finger. There'll probably be like one more chest, one or two more chests. Which is fine. No matter which, uh, what happens, we're, we've completed what we wanted to do for this episode. Okay, so it's said it's like right around here. There it is. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Just annihilates anything. Cosmic finger. Oh! Evolve Celestial Dustying. Projectiles generate a chain explosion at fixed intervals. Okay. How'd we get this? Um, I don't know. It looks like the, uh, the one dog. Okay, there's the chest. Let's go ahead and take that. Okay! Just got three evolutions all in one. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. I wonder, is that item that we just got because we got Celestial Finger? Maybe. Yeah, it looks like the evolution of whatever the, uh, the one dog gets. Because, yeah, that, that looks like just a thing of flowers everywhere. I wonder what caused... Like, I have to assume that it's I'm getting a celestial finger. Uh, 
And at this point, I think we're pretty good. What is the... Okay. You can just barely see him, but he's like moving his arms up and down. He's like right over top of us. I think that's for the bats. Yep. Definitely not an overpowered character at all. <laughs> You guys aren't even trying anymore. <laughs> Just gonna say there's a little clover leaf there. Not that it matters much at this point. to do at this point since the map doesn't really do much after like the midway point i guess just search for money i mean even now money is kind of uh <laughs> unnecessary for us outside of unlocking new characters every once in a while to make sure to stop every once in a while so the coins can catch up. Mm, okay. As far as gaining a level doesn't really help much with the Getting your money back up. Oh, only seven thousand. That's pretty weak. I'm trying to remember, like, what even the largest amount that we've ever gotten was. I don't even remember. It's kind of hard to keep track, unfortunately. Chest. Let's go ahead and see what's in it. Probably just money. Yep. It's just an absolute mess of color. Floating 3D blocks coming after us. We're gonna vote to just kind of stand here and let them come to us, because otherwise, we're gonna just end up running into them and taking needless damage most of the time. Screen nuke doesn't seem to affect these things. At least it didn't seem like it did much. Make 
sure to keep resetting our uh, gold gauge every time with these uh, larger money bags just kind of sitting around. Seconds left on the clock. Alright, I don't think we're going to survive this, so I'm just going to go ahead and call it there. So, I think this is probably... Also, I love this. Paco Batatier. Batierly? Uh, I, I can't even say the name. But uh, it, it's Batman. I, I just love that. And it, he kind of looks like... Uh... Sorry. It, it, he kind of looks like... Oh. I can't even... No, I can't think of the name. Off. Um, he was the, the Batman back in the 70s. He was, unfortunately, he passed away a few years ago at this point. Um... But, yeah, he he has that same look to him. Uh, let me let me look him up because I'm blanking for some reason. I feel so bad for. He's like the the seventies Batman or Adam West. Okay, yeah, I I don't know why I was blanking on his name. But, yeah, <laughs> that's kind of the look that I get from this guy, this version. So, I think we're going to go ahead and do Robert in the next part. Um, just because, again, I'm not quite sure how to play Ghost. And I still need to actually unlock a few other characters. Um, since uh, we didn't evolve this thing. So, alright. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next part.